Well, while parts of rural Oklahoma are struggling economically, other areas outside the big city lights are booming. In his book called Boomtown USA, author Jack Schultz examines what makes the difference between struggling small towns and those that are prospering. I sat down with the author to find out more. What's the difference between success and failure for small towns? You know, I think a lot of it starts with attitude on the community of how they approach uh, problems and opportunities and, uh, and take advantage of them. Now, I've heard you mention what is referred to as the STP factor, which stands for the same 10 people. Expand on that, if you would, and why we need to get more people involved in economic development. Well, a lot of people get burned out because they're always the ones, especially in small towns, that it's the same 10 people or STP that end up being called upon to do everything. And uh, you really need to get more people involved and, and, and those people need support also so that they're not just out on a limb where the curmudgeons in the community can, can cut off the limb on them. Uh, you need people that are underneath them that are, that are supporting them and that are providing moral support for them in a community, I've found. How has technology helped small towns? Technology is going to be a driver in our economy in the future, and it really uh, it, it liberates small towns uh, to an extent that we don't need to be, you don't need to be next to an airport or next to a big city to be able to do your job, and we're finding hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that are, that are able to do their business from anywhere in the country. And so it's going to be those communities that have built up a great quality of life and that have the attractions to be able to bring people in where they want to raise a family and where the quality of life is such that they want to, want to live there uh, that are going to be the ones that prosper in the future. And not all, not all small towns are going to do well. Is that It's going to be those that, that kind of develop a niche for themselves and that create that great quality of life. How has deregulation, overall deregulation, how has that helped small towns? Deregulation has been a tremendous boost to, uh, to small towns. It's, de it's unleveled the playing field so that we in rural America, which have a lower cost structure, are able to compete very effectively with the large cities and it's created some wonderful opportunities. I just saw a study from the Book Brookings Institute that looked at the fact that 90% of the industrial development that's going to occur in this country in the next 30 years, buildings that are going to be built for industrial purposes are going to happen in what areas they call the exurban areas of the country. I call the ag urbs of our country. Areas away from the big cities where, where there's some real advantages both from a workforce standpoint and from a cost of operation standpoint. Is, is economic growth, it, can it be a double-edged sword sometimes in some of these small towns? And what I'm thinking of is maybe the downtown merchant that then has to compete against the big box store without saying any names that moves in north of town. You know, it, it, um, competition is a wonderful thing, but it is a double-edged sword. Uh, but I've seen some communities with some vibrant downtowns where the retailers have had to uh, readjust, have had to change the way of operation, uh, might have to go to longer hours, might have to provide a little bit more service, change their mix of products that are competing very, very effectively. And actually, I would rather, if I was a retailer, I would rather be in a community that has a lot of big box retailers because it's bringing in people from a surrounding area, and those regional centers are the ones that I'm seeing that are doing the best. And to hear more economic success stories across our state, just head to our website at okhorizon.com and click on Value Added.